Okay, this is Ricky from the old AF Reviewers. Now, I've had a torch passed to me from Art with Horror about my 10 favorite subgenres within horror. Now, I'll tell you what, I've got it wrote down because I'm getting old and forgetful. Now, once obviously you get into your 40s, it's all a, a bit of an uphill struggle. So, number one, torture. Number two, found footage. Number three, foreign film. Number four, sci fi. Number five, werewolf. Number six, vampire. <laughs> Number seven, zombie. Number eight, slash. Number nine, paranormal ghost. And number ten, home invasion. The fuck? The fuck's at my window? That's how you deal with home invaders in Ricky Mansion, baby. Right, so, number one, torture. Now, you think of torture films, you think of Saw, you think of films like that, or even like um, sort of sadistic films, maybe stuff like Last House on the Left or things like that. But when I think of torture, I've got to think that I spit on your grave remake. I like the original, but the acting was a bit hammy. Um, the whole editing was a bit choppy. The sound effects weren't great. The remake really, really notched it up some some fucking serious levels. So yeah, and the scene and out with the shotgun up that bug's fucking ass. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I would say, and it was justified. You know, you're rooting for this woman after what they did to her. You just wanted them to douche. You wanted them to get it in a seriously painful way. Number two, found footage. Now, this has changed. It was a film called The Realm until very recently when I saw a film called The Host. Now, I did a review about that. That is absolutely amazing. That is how you do a found footage horror film. Right. I'm telling you now. If you've not seen it, check it out. Number three, foreign film. Hmm, now I'm not a big fan of foreign films because you've got to read subtitles. Now if I wanted to read, I'd read a book or something like that. So, um, But there's a few that have, have sort of really caught my eye. One of them being The Train to Busan. That was an amazing film. The only trouble is with subtitles, you have to read it and you're missing bits of the action and stuff like that. But some of the set pieces in that film were breathtaking. Honestly, check it out. I'm not a big fan of zombie films, but that one, and it's a foreign, so it's a double whammy. Really, really good. Number four, sci-fi. Now, when people say sci-fi horror, everybody thinks of like Alien and things like that. But I always see that as an action film rather than a, a horror. I think the best sci-fi horror I've seen has got to be Event Horizon. Now, the reason I say this is because it really does give that bit of menace as well, you know, uh, from uh, Sam Neill's character and you start seeing him changing and stuff and you've got Lawrence Fishburne as a hero, really good film, gets under your skin a bit and it's been a bit forgotten about, I love that film, I think it's great. Number five, Werewolf. Now, mm, I was going to say Dog Soldiers because that is an absolute belter of a film, but yeah, again, I think it's more comedy than horror, so I'm going to go with a film called Ginger Snaps, which I think redefines the, the werewolf genre, because it was, you felt for these this, this kid and her sister, and the fact that she wanted help, but she didn't, but then she did, she didn't, and it was that whole constant battle between uh, evolving into this werewolf and, and still being human and having your family ties. I thought it was a great film, really underrated. If you've not seen it, check it out. Number six, Vampire. Now, I'm not really a massive fan of the vampire franchises because it's it's all a little bit like, you know, Bram Stoker's Dracula, the love study, lots of love, D. And, you know, Gary Oldman did a good job, but, so, I thought about it, and I'm thinking, if I've got to choose a favourite vampire film, it's got to be Blade 2. It's just got to be. 
It's gotta be. You know that scene where he's in his sewers? You do not know who you're fucking with! Bang! And he blows them all up with it. Wow! Absolutely amazing film. Wesley Snipes is the man. So yeah, Blade 2, best vampire film out there. Check it out. Number 8, Slasher. Now, you think Slasher's... I automatically think A Nightmare on Elm Street because that, for me as a kid, was the ones that really, really just the sight of Freddy Krueger. He used to get under my fucking skin as a kid. He was, he looked ghastly, and that glove with all the knives on. Number one to this day is still my favourite, and it's still an absolute classic. None of the other films have ever come close to that one. So A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, is my favourite. Ten out of ten for that. Paranormal Ghost. Now, there's so many because they're the sorts of horror films I really like. Um, I think James Wan is really, really up in the, raising the bar and up in the stakes within that sort of sector of the, the horror game. I particularly love The Conjuring Part to uh, the Enfield case, probably because it's such a well documented case as well, obviously being in England you hear all about that sort of thing too, with the Enfield haunting, um, really really good film, really spooky, okay a lot of it's bollocks but it really really worked with that old man being used as a conduit for the nun, obviously the nun wasn't actually anything to do with the Enfield case but you know obviously it's got to make a, a film hasn't it so it's got to be blown up a bit but yeah really really good film so check that one out as well and number 10 Home Invasion now there's so many of the Home Invasion films you know particularly since um, uh, Strangers that was a really good film really really sort of unnerving then you've got like You're Next uh, Don't Breathe but the, the best home invasion film I've seen is a film called The Collector. Really, really good film. It's about some dude who's breaking into a house to get money. I think it's to put uh, his, his sister through college or something like that. Mm. Big house. People in bed asleep. But there's also somebody else in that house as well. <laughs> somebody you really don't want to mess with. And it's it's really unnerving it's it's quite a, a disturbing film it really is it's called the collector if you've not seen it check it out you've also got the collector 2 called the collection i think where it really ramps it up a notch the the kill times 100 compared to the first one so it's really really good honestly graphic as hell talk about making a third i hope they do because they're really good films so that's my top 10 subgenres within the horror world. So I'm going to pass the torch on to the girl in a movie, Danielle. I want to hear yours. And I can't mention Danielle without mentioning Tony at Sinister Arts and Movies. So I want to hear yours. And Mark from The Love of Movies. Please, buddy, let me hear yours. Uh, and I'm going to throw my mate Patrick in there as well. Uh, from Have Cheetah Will View. I'm going to get you in this as well. I want to hear your tep top 10s. Can't even talk properly. It's all that talk about horror and throwing that bloke out of the window. But yeah, that is it. So all that leaves me to say is stay lit, stay beautiful, stay safe, but most importantly, stay smiling! <laughs>